Let's talk about periodontal disease, the, the truth and the misconceptions. And here's the misconception. You or your dentist missed something, so as a result, you now have a disease. Could that really be true? Only if you believe that people get heart, heart attacks because their doctors missed something, or people get cancer because their doctors missed something, or asthma, or Alzheimer's, or you name the disease. The fact is that periodontal disease falls into a class of diseases known as chronic degenerative diseases. Chronic means that it's continuing. Degenerative means that it's breaking down something, and that's what's happening. The critical attachment fibers between your teeth and your bone is breaking down. Here are some of the factors that cause periodontal disease. One is plaque. You've heard of plaque. Now, plaque is the soft bacteria that grows on the teeth. It's there whether we eat or not, and it needs to be removed completely at least once every 24 hours. That's your job. And the better that you do your job, the better the control of this factor of the disease. The next is calculus. A calculus is hardened plaque. And that migrates. That goes down below the gum line. It's rough. And because it's rough, it accumulates more plaque. And that causes more loss of bone support. Why? The bone doesn't want to be anywhere near the calculus. It doesn't want to be near bacteria. So the calculus needs to be removed. And it can only be removed by a dentist or a dental hygienist. We're going to talk about effective calculus removal more in a few minutes. Bad diet. There are so many bad foods that we eat. They're associated with all of the chronic degenerative diseases. The best part of our diets are a large variety of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables daily. The larger the variety, the better. The World Health Organization states flatly that 85% of cancers can be avoided and half are caused by nutritional deficiencies. Five to nine or more servings of fruits and vegetables are the standard way to protect yourself from any chronic degenerative disease, including periodontal disease. Okay, the, third is, the fourth is genetics. People are genetically predisposed to certain diseases. But predisposition is not a death sentence. Genetic predisposition does not mean genetic expression. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. If you do good things for yourself, you likely won't get the disease. Smoking. Yes, we do see that more smokers have periodontal disease. And that's a lot more than non-smokers. That's by a wide margin. But part of that is the smoking itself. And part is all of the other factors we've talked about already. So you see, it isn't just one factor at all that causes periodontal disease. And therefore, the best treatment for the disease addresses all of the above factors. So let's then talk about what we find is the best approach to periodontal disease. First is plaque control. Oh, I know, you may say, I know how to brush my teeth. I floss my teeth. The fact is that I recently did an examination on you, didn't I? And if I found plaque at the time of the examination, then your bacterial control isn't as good as it could be. Sorry, that's the truth. It means that when you're doing the work to brush and floss, it's not effective enough. Here's what I've found. If we coach you, just as a golf coach would coach a golfer, you could remove 100% of the plaque every time out. The best professional golfers need coaching, and they need the right equipment. Same holds true for your teeth. And while a golfer could use golf club, clubs that were made in 1930, that golfer would do better with modern clubs. And because those clubs have been scientifically researched. Same holds true for plaque control. You need the right tools and you need the right coaching. And here in this office, we'll spend time on both. The right tools and the right coaching. Because if we're effective at this first step, the treatment step is going to be that much more effective. 
I've selected some instruments for you that will make your chance of 100% flat control that much better. I have some great staff members who will work with you and track your progress. The second is calculus removal. Unless the calculus is removed, the disease process will continue. Now, you might say, but my hygienist already cleans my teeth. The fact is that most hygienists clean teeth by feel. They feel the calculus. And if they can feel the calculus, they can remove it. But here's the problem. Studies have, been sh have shown that removing calculus by feel is only 50 to 90% effective, and that's in shallow pockets less than five millimeters. It means if the pockets are deep, greater than five millimeters, the chance of removing calculus effectively goes down to almost zero. But if you can see the calculus, the effectiveness goes up to 99%. So about 12 years ago, I made an investment that has kept our periodontal patients healthy and for many kept them out of periodontal surgery. It's called a perioscope, a tiny camera, size of the head of a pin, that goes down below the gum line so we can see the calculus on your teeth. It allows us to see the things that our hygienist and your hygienist can't feel, and it makes all the difference in the world. So now our hygienist can see the calculus and can get it out. The perioscope is a wonderful instrument. There are fewer than 200 in the world, and I'm proud to be one of those 200 offices that have it. We call the treatment EAPT, Endoscopically Assisted Periodontal Therapy. The third is diet. You know the usual culprits. We eat at least four times as much sugar now as we did a generation ago. That sugar increases your risk of cancer of a heart attack, and every other degenerative disease, including periodontal disease. But what about those five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables that you need every day? And what about the fact that you need a large variety because each fruit and vegetable has distinct advantages? I found an excellent supplement that will give you 17 different fruits and vegetables every day. It's called Juice Plus. Many doctors recommend it because there are 14 papers in the medical literature that say it works on a cellular level. And yes, there's a paper that shows that Juice Plus works for periodontal disease too. There are also times when a laboratory study might be necessary so that we can see the particular bacteria that's causing your disease. There are 11 different types of bacteria that cause periodontal disease. And we need, sometimes need to know which bacteria or which combination of bacteria you have so that we more effectively can treat it with antibiotics. We don't usually need antibiotics, but if we can't get the disease under control, then a lab that laboratory study is available and we'll use it. So there you have it. A comprehensive periodontal treatment program that works. EAPT. It's non-surgical. It's effective. And it's been proven over the many years that I've been in periodontal practice. It works. And if you follow our guidelines, it will work for you too. EAPT will help you save your teeth and reduce your need for gum surgery.